Okay guys, welcome back to the Tree Footy YouTube channel for a huge game at a wet and blustery Optus Stadium. It is two of the biggest premiership contenders in this career, West Coast Eagles and the reigning premiers Richmond doing battle at Optus Stadium of course and this is a massive game in the context of the season. The only change from the side that pummeled Port Adelaide is that young Ben Johnson who kicked the goal on debut and did really well has come out of the side with a sore ankle and Jared Brander makes his way into the side. Although, looking at the conditions, whether or not that height coming into the side was the best move as the Tigers run out onto the ground. This doesn't. This ground doesn't necessarily hold uh, really happy memories for the Tigers. I think they've played the Eagles here once and we beat them by about nine goals and the Eagles obviously went all the way to win the Premiership that year. So this is... A really, really important game for both sides. The Eagles run out there in front of their home crowd. I'm sure it'll be a capacity attendance despite the weather. I don't know if it's going to ease up. I don't, it doesn't look like particularly heavy rain, but that will obviously impact the way we play. And all that ground level ball is going to be super important, particularly on a game like today. Here we go, boys. Let's get into what could be the grand final preview. Uses it by foot. Castagna grabs that one. 65 meters out. Oh, Castagna finds an unmarked Daniel Rioli for some reason in the forward pocket well ahead of Shannon Hearn. That might be a bit of a mismatch I might need to attend to because Rioli is far too quick for him and that looked good off the boot. He's missed. The ball spills free. Oscar Allen, two on one. Can't get rid of it in time. Good play by the big man here at the Eagles. And Petrocelli is... Oh, it doesn't quite bring it down. Oh, he's just quick off the floor, but... No one handles that poorly, mate. That's ridiculous. And Duggan should... Oh, no. This is frustrating. Oh, Dusty, too strong in front of Tim Kelly. Bit of a mismatch there going forward. Dusty's just so hard to beat in the air. And this is a big kick for the first kick of the game and goal. And it is a goal. And I didn't articulate that pretty well. But nonetheless, the Tigers are off the mark. Jetta from 60. Is that going to bounce through generously? It is not. It is going to spill. Out of bounds. Close to goal. Clears the contest. Oh, a lot of off-the-ball stuff here happening. The Eagles are just getting out-muscled and outworked. And Gaff has an opportunity, and he's missed. He's gone on the opposite foot for whatever reason. He's counted as severe pressure. But that was a very gettable miss for these Eagles. Moves it by foot. Rance takes a strong mark. Looks up with a kick. Oh, a bit of an opportunity here, and that is a good tackle. As Shuey, can he make them pay with the Eagles first? He's been pushed in the back as he kicked. Doesn't matter. It is a goal, and we are level pegging here at Optus Stadium. It's been a tough couple of minutes. The Eagles had all the ascendancy, but couldn't quite put it on the scoreboard with some missed opportunities. And Shuey puts it through for an important captain's goal at an important time. Oh, that is going to... Is he going to mark it right on the quarter time, Siren? I just couldn't quite get it in time. And Richmond lead the Eagles by two points in a thriller. The scoring is well and truly dried up, which is ironic because it is a wet and blustery game. Oh, it's a high tackle on Liam Ryan. 30 metres out directly in front. And the Eagles have an opportunity to hit the front for the first time on this evening. And he's put it straight through the middle and it is a four point ball game here early in the second term. Oh, what happened there? My interchange player was running off the field. Ran, ran, you know, straight past the ball, and that's cost me the goal. That is bizarre. 
I'm yet to see anything like that on this game yet. But Dustin Martin has strolled into an open goal with no opponent. As you can see, Tim Kelly sprinting off away from the ball for whatever reason. Oh, the Tigers are all over him at the moment, and they are toying with the Eagles. As whoever it is, is it Castagna? He's having a day out in these wet conditions. They stretch the lead to nine points here at Optus Stadium. Oh, great pass in board from Archie. He's found Liam Duggan. Uh, uh, Duggan needs to make this kick. A good one, and it is. He's found Darling with a great lead. That is brilliant play from the Eagles. Probably their cleanest passage all day. And that should bring it back to two points the margin not long before halftime here. Shuey for his second. Oh, he's gonna get he's gonna get thwarted by Dylan Grimes playing the goalkeeper role. And Art was that bloody Bashar Huli, that was amazing. Finds was hoping you'd be able to find a player with a flatter kick than that, but he couldn't. And that is half time. Ouch, that opportunity burned. Going into half time, the Eagles are two points behind the Tigers. And with a couple of opportunities there where they could have extended the lead to maybe about 10 points in front. But it's overall it's been a fairly even contest. Jack Graham leads all comers with disposals. Dustin Martin has two out of the three Richmond goals. And the Eagles have Chewy, Darling and Ryan on the scoreboard with Tim Kelly and Liam Duggan with the most possessions on the field. Patrick Shelley's got a tough ask here. He's got to bring the ball to ground. He does. Can we force the ball to be locked up? Jamie Cripps out of the pack has received the handball and he has nailed the goal. I have no idea how that happened. I think that was a turnover by the Tigers. But for the first time today, or at least that I can remember, the Eagles are in front. Got to find someone free. Can he do it? Is lit. Ah, oh, so hard to actually find a player. Here we go. Hey, dumb sheed. Well done. Takes the uncon well, not uncontested, somewhat contested grab. There's not too much breeze here. In fact, there's not a hint of breeze. And dumb sheed should nail this, and he has. And the Eagles extend to ten points, the biggest margin for them for the game. Absolutely. The Eagles through Darling, and I don't know if that should have counted because it was definitely a 50 metre penalty, should have been paid, but that is common across this game. And the Eagles have leapt onto a poor mistake from Richmond's defence. And then. Oh, the Tigers somehow have leapt into an open goal through Daniel Rioli. It was a bad scramble there. Hard to see exactly what was going on, and Rioli pounces on it and bags an important goal for Richmond. The Eagles kicked four goals in a row, so that was a timely response from the reigning Premiers. Onto the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Oh. Avoids the pressure. He's having a big game right Someone now. needs to get there. And it's a high tackle, and the Eagles have finally got a high tackle free kick paid toward them. I'd love to see the free kick count in this game. Maybe it's probably pretty even. But nonetheless, Oscar Rowland goes back and kicks an important goal. And the Eagles are now 17 points in front in this top of the table clash in what will be huge in terms of determining the makeup of the final ladder. A bit too hard with a push. And that is three-quarter time. And the Eagles have extended the lead to 24 points in a dominant third term in which the Tigers didn't really get too much of a look-in. The Eagles have clearly been the better side over the stretch. And now this is going to be a huge ask for Richmond to overcome them in the final term in front of a parochial West Coast Eagles home crowd. Let's see what happens. 
West Coast have been controlling stoppages. Dusty from the center clearance. Oh, that is actually going to go over the contest's head. And that is going to result in an instant goal from Daniel Rioli. Who says they're out of this game? They certainly aren't with that instantaneous goal. And that is going to be a huge momentum boost for them. Oh, throwing the ball. Another free kick. And Tim Kelly, the superstar, has an opportunity to extend the margin back out to 24 points. If it's a good kick, it looks good off the boot. That should clear the line. And the Eagles start with the instant response virtually to Richmond's opening goal. And we'll get a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gabs? This game needs a spark at the moment. Oh. Nankervis is it, running into an open goal here, that was poor, and a well-timed tackle, uh, well-timed uh, well hip and shoulder really, edged Yoey out of the contest, and he just waltzed in, where is the team defence from the Eagles there, that will have Adam Simpson scratching his head, McGovern with an important grab here, Someone's got to take a grab. Can Darling get there first? He can. He's within range, but he sees a short option, and Petrocelli should take this. And he's missed a few opportunities tonight, Jack Petrocelli, but this could virtually ice the game for the Eagles. He's kicked it, and we're back out to 24 points. Oh, Liam Baker against the much bigger, is that Tom Barras and Jared Brando win that contest. He's plucked it with a well-timed leap. And the Richmond Tigers have a response here. Can they make it count? He can't. He's missed it. It could be a crucial point, though. They were an even 24 points. They still need four goals. Oh, a high tackle there. And Archie hasn't featured as heavily in this game. Can probably put the result beyond doubt and make it 29 points. And the Eagles have been convincing today after that quarter time period where the Tigers probably were the better side. But they've just been tougher for longer. Oh, that is a poor kick by me. Oh, that is a huge kick. Who was that? Was that Jack Rewalt just launched it off one step from 50? Do the Tigers have a bit of life in this? Jared Brander takes the mark on the siren and the Eagles record a huge 21 point victory. The Tigers came at them hard, but they were just a little bit too clean and a little bit too slick when it mattered. That is a huge win. Coming off the back of their 10 goal win against the Power last week, they've gotten the job done against the Cats the week before that, and now they've beaten Richmond to have fully announced themselves as potentially the Premiership favorite for season 2020. Player of the match is Tim Kelly, the prize recruit, and he's kind of paying off the hefty price the Eagles paid for him. Dustin Martin was huge for the visitors and Josh Caddy I think he was playing loose man in defense, uh, did pretty well as well. As you can see there, Tim Kelly bobbed up with 14 possessions and a goal for Richmond. Jack Graham had the most touches while Martin and Rioli both had multiple goals. As you can see, a huge third quarter by the Eagles just put them too far out of reach for a fast finishing Richmond side who won the final quarter. Before we finish the episode, guys, it looks like everyone mostly has played five games, a couple games into the next round. Uh, we are still on top of the ladder with a percentage of 162%, and we now travel to Tasmania to take on the Hawthorne Hawks, who sit 11th spot after two wins and three losses. So an opportunity there to make it six straight. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this episode. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you when we take on the Hawks in the next video. Cheers.